Anita, you are a life and business coach. So what are the typical problems that your client has when they first find you? Yeah, people usually come to me when they have a new business idea that they want to bring into fruition or when they are tired of doing the same thing and they realize that the life is short and they actually want to start focusing on doing what they really love to do. Mm -hmm. And I have my my clients in three categories and no matter the category, they all have the same patterns. So those categories are one, seasoned entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs that are already successful with their existing business. And second category is fresh entrepreneurs or people who are seriously thinking about transitioning from employee status to doing business on their own. And the third category is artists, activists, content creators, content creators. And what they all have in common is that they are super responsible, even over responsible. And they get the work done. They do the things, especially when they work for other people. But when it comes to their own projects, projects to the things they actually want to be doing, there is always something that comes in the way. Usually, first, they don't have time in their schedule. Then it happens when they have time that they clean the house instead. <laughs> the dirt really starts bothering them at this point. And they are frustrated about this. They really feel like they their soul is calling them to start doing the work that they want to be doing, but they just can't. And because all of my clients um, are already in personal development, they are not new to inner work. They did tons of it already. They can see that they are in some way sabotaging themselves. But they are also aware that they have some blind spots because if they could figure it out, they would already figure it out. And sometimes it even happens that they kind of have it figured it out already because they are super self-aware, yet still they need another person to help them to bring this uh, from the awareness level into the actual embodiment level. Mm -hmm. And then you assist them. And yeah. um, what do you love about this coaching process that you that you use? I love so much about coaching, about coaching processes. Um, I need to tell you something about me that you will under understand more why I love it so much. So I am the type of person that is very spiritual. Spiritual. I am into personal development. I am obsessed with human beings, how human beings work, all these things. And at the same time, I am a materialistic person. Yes, I say this out loud because even nature is all material. It is all material world and I love it. And in coaching, we combine both of these worlds, more of spiritual, mental level and actual practical steps that people do in the material world. And I also so much love witnessing people when they speak about their fears and about their dreams. They are so beautiful. People are so beautiful and <laughs> when they are honest. Um, Yes, and I feel so honored that they trust me with, with their dreams. Sometimes it's even harder to trust someone with your dreams because it happened to all of us already that we shared our dreams with somebody and they laughed at us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I 
this whole process is so sacred to me. It really feels like like a feeling of grace. It very often feels like this. And uh, I sometimes feel like I am a midwife that is assisting their true self being born into the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm, so when the client finds you, most of them, they have already done a lot of inner work themselves. So often you said they have their support network. They have other psychologists, coaches, friends who help them. And you are very much in favor of that, that they have a big network, not just you as a support, right? Yes, that is true. Uh, I really encourage this because there, there's this saying that it takes a village to raise a child. And in my opinion and in my personal experience, it takes a global village of support to become a healthy grown up person. It is very important for adult people to have support system, especially if you are entrepreneur or business leader or public figure, you really need support because it, it can feel really lonely. They say it's lonely at the top. And mm -hmm. sometimes it really can feel like you cannot talk with anyone about uh, all the things that you have on your shoulders or that you cannot share your successes with people that are around you. It's all, all usually those leader entrepreneurial types are different from people around them, more ambitious, more idealistic. They believe that things are possible, that you can make them happen. And ma majority of people are not like this. And it can feel sometimes oh, so lonely. And I want to know everyone <laughs> like this, that you are not alone in your loneliness there is many people like you and that's why it is important to connect and to build your support system people you can talk about about your bad days and about your good days people that you can share your fears with and your wins with and those can be like friends who really get you those can be coaches mentors also therapists, I really recommend therapy. For me, it was very beneficial. And a lot of my clients uh, also went to therapy or are still going uh, to, to therapy, which I love because uh, I love working with responsible people. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and why it's also important to have wider uh, network of support is so that you don't rely on one person uh, so that you are not in codependent relationship with one person because it can happen that if you rely on one person that they say something and you take it for true and if you have wider support system there's this difference of opinion and also <laughs> This is actually one of my main messages. You are the main authority in your life. So no matter what anyone else say, even though if this is me or your mentor or your therapist, you have inner guidance, inner authority, and it is important that you listen what feels true to you inside you. I always say this to people when we begin working together that I'm a human, I make mistakes, I may have knowledge about how human works, work, I have intuition, but still I can say something that is completely off, completely off. So please let me know what resonates with you and what does not resonate with you. Mm -hmm. And how did you find out that you want to coach people like that? Uh, I always loved asking people what do they love to do, what are their plans for the future, and I always loved encouraging them to actually do it, 
no matter what their age. Uh, I, I have this deep belief that if more people would do what they love, the world would be better place, better for human, 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 humanity, because there would be more happy people walking around. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. And even in my previous business, I uh, when I was making eco-friendly accessories, if I went for coffee with my customers, I asked them those questions as well and encouraged them to follow their dreams. And I even was planning already back then to transition into coaching and into talking about personal development, about inner work, things like this, because I was super interested in this and I always loved writing, but it happened at that time that I burned out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this was really hard for me. Uh, at first, I didn't even know that I burned out. Yeah. Um, I just thought that I am lazy, that I'm super lazy. I could not work. I could not focus on my business. I was sleeping a lot. And also, I had so much things going on on emotional level. I felt a lot of shame and a lot of guilt and I felt guilty for things that I was not even responsible for and there were many things that contributed to my burnout but most of them were related with relationships and with me not knowing not knowing how to set boundaries how to say no how to say no I cannot do this for you without feeling guilty about it so I would usually rather just do things so that I would not feel guilty for not doing them mm -hmm. and how long did it take you to recover from the burnout it took me about five or six years way longer that I expected and way longer that I wanted. Um, I think it would take me less time if I could allow myself to rest and chill without guilt. But I could not allow myself to rest because I had all, all the time in, the mind, in my mind, I need to make money, I need to make money. And I could not make money because I felt like shit and I was just not confident. I could not show up when I was, when I thought about showing up, even sending newsletter, I felt like everything, like everyone is judging me. Like people think that I'm a bad, selfish, greedy person. So I could not sell anything because I had those thoughts in my mind that if I sell, that if I sell, people will think bad things about me. Oh, wow. oh yes. And during this time, it's interesting. <laughs> I, I, I was burnt out, but there were moments when I had in between some energy. And in those moments, I was really focusing on building my new business, my coaching business. I transitioned during this time and the clients I had during this time, when I looked for the patterns, I noticed that they all come from the families where they were not emotionally supported for doing the things they actually wanted to be doing when where their, their needs weren't really met, their needs for yeah being seen, heard, their needs for being supported, for being loved, for who they are, those needs weren't really met. And I knew from my own experience, if you focus on your business and you don't have emotional support, it is exhausting. And I noticed the similar patterns with my clients, mm -hmm. but I wasn't really uh, sure. I, I had many theories how this mm, lack of emotional support connects to lack of success in business or the success that comes at some cost. Uh, but I was not 
uh, sure about this theory is how much of it is something that I see, only I see, or if, um, or if, like, if those uh, theories could be in some way confirmed, I thought that I would need to work with many, many people to develop this theory further. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and I was still searching also the missing puzzle for for my own healing journey. I still wasn't completely sure why burnout and heavy, not nice experience that I had with some people, why those things happened to me. Mm -hmm. And how did you find the missing piece of the puzzle? Yeah, it is interesting and super simple story, but... Yeah, I was actually Googling, um, I, I, I had this strange feeling in my solar plexus, solar plexus for quite some time, like something is eating me inside. It was such strange feeling and I tried to get rid of it for a long time. And then one day I decided I'm going to Google this feeling <laughs> like, okay. yeah, maybe I can find some answers. And then I find uh, I found um, subreddit about complex PTSD, and it was so interesting. What were people writing there? I could find myself in the things that they were saying, writing actually. And uh, there was also a recommendation for a book about complex PTSD from Pete Walker. And when I read this book, I felt so understood and it also gave me so much hope for my own healing journey, so much realistic hope uh, yeah. because before it happened to me that I wanted to heal myself, to fix myself in one Sunday afternoon to start fresh, the new week and be perfect. And here I realized that maybe it's gonna take me years to kill some things mm. yeah and soon after I also started reading about adult children of alcoholics and there everything fell in place for me psychology became exact science for me it was like my puzzle was solved those were two missing pieces that I needed and I found out that theories that I had that they were right I had so much confirmation now from the books I was reading and I realized that those topics are actually very well researched um, and uh, I realized uh, soon after that this is actually my coaching niche even though I was already working with people like this but now it was oh this confirmation this is the real thing this can actually be thing that I can do and is legit and credible because it's already well researched. Mm -hmm. Great. And you found your way to be the coach you are today. Yes. And all the things I was researching during my uh, burn out all the books I read, all the articles I read and meters of notebooks that I filled with my inner work, they all come in handy now that I am coaching other people. I can understand them better and uh, I can use these with clients when, uh, when they have similar, similar problems like I had and I really work with my clients now on becoming the main authority in their own life, becoming selfish with S E L F, like becoming <laughs> yourself, feeling yourself, uh, knowing what you want, what you don't want, uh, and really having boundaries. Or sometimes it even feels like you don't you even have to focus on boundaries because you are so with yourself you know yourself so well that it is easy that it 
comes natural to you that you set boundaries or uh, in such yeah. natural way you know that you don't even notice there's no this uh, heavy feeling that you, now you have to set boundary and stand up for yourself because you, you just say it like by the way no I don't have time for this now no I have other pr priorities now great mm -hmm. and would you like to give a take-home message to anyone who's watching here yes of course um first I, I have three messages uh first is uh, I am very happy that you are listening to this and that you're listening to this till the end thank you so much I appreciate you you are amazing um the second message is that you are the main authority in your life and please don't forget this and the third message is that if you're if you are listening to this, I'm sure that you are already doing the inner work on your own, lots of inner work perhaps, and good job, keep doing it. We need people like you. And at the same time, I encourage you when you are ready that you find people that get you, that support you so that you expand your support system so that you can really get what is inside you, what your soul wants to bring out to the world and if you are excited about your business idea and you want to do the deep inner work at the same time i can be maybe the coach for you so you can fill the application form for coaching with me and we will find out if we are meant to work together at this exciting time in your journey perfect you know that anita is the expert Yes. <laughs> from my own experience <laughs> exactly yeah. okay thank you very much for this interview Anita thank you for interviewing me Tanya <laughs> I appreciate you <laughs> it's my pleasure bye 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 bye